Hello and welcome. I'm Andrew and this today is Thursday the 11th of March and we're going to see what FIFA have EA have dropped today for us in FIFA Ultimate Team. Now in the light of all the Icon Gate stuff that happened yesterday with regards to EA employees um, <laughs> selling Icon cards um, off the market so to speak, EA have come out today and said that it's uncovered major flaws in the FIFA Ultimate Team market that needs fixing. It's time for Ultimate Team to evolve, which will be an interesting thing. So we'll expect some content in relation to that, hopefully, within the next few days. Who knows? Anyway, right, look at this. We have no new event, no new milestones, and no new objectives. So let's hope for some content because i've got a whole load of packs that need to be opened we have icons 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 what a surprise so you have michael ballack prime moments ballack 92 now he's quite a highly rated midfielder Obviously, by the 92, obviously, four star, four star, high, medium work rate, six foot two, works well. His stats, there's no real weak points really. Lowest two stats there, curve at 70, balance at 71. The rest is doesn't really have a weak point. He's lethal, lethal in the air, heady accuracy 95, jumping 93. Power free kick, power header. From a corner, he's going to be dangerous. The aggression, the strength, the stamina, the jumping, the heady accuracy, it all is going to work well. For an attacking midfielder, now he is seven segments. He's going to be a, a rare bronze team, a rare silver team, an 83, an 85, an 86, an 87, and an 88. Now that, as icons go... That does seem obviously it's it's seven segments in total, so you're talking 77 players in total. Gold and silver is pretty much a wipeout because most people have them in their squad. But there's 50 days left to complete these challenges should you want it. So this is going to affect the market. Is in the fact that high-rated players are going to go up in price somewhat. People, people are going to use upgrades, people are going to use the market to buy these players to fulfil these icon SBCs. Second one is Rui Costa, who personally I think is a little underrated. I quite like a Portuguese attacking midfielder. The Deco, the Rui Costa, both decent cards. Now Rui Costa is going to come in at a rare bronze, a rare silver, an 80 rated team with a Fiorentina player. An 82 rated team with a Benfica player, 84 with a Milan, 86 with one Portuguese or one English, presumably, yeah, because of his goal, yeah, as it says, two 86s. That's good. Now, obviously, he doesn't have the physicality that um, uh, Michael Ballack has. 5'11, so he's shorter, medium, medium work rate rather than high medium. And he has four star, four star in the same way. Stats, he's obviously one lower, generally 91 compared to 92. His finishing is a little lower, but his shot power and his long shots are still high. He's got a good pace split. His dribbling is pretty good all the way around. And his physicality is pretty good apart from the low aggression. Defensively, he's nothing to write home about. But other than that, decent player. Flair and outside of foot shot trait means he's more technical than Balak, who's more of a battering ram. And 93 Schmeichel. Now, I've got 90 Schmeichel, who I'm not enamoured with, to be honest. Um, but he's got no traits. I thought he'd had, I thought he'd have a, like a saves with feet trait or something. But obviously, stats are good. He's Peter of Schmeichel. He's going to have decent stats. Six foot four, three star weak foot. And one star skill moves as most of the goalkeepers do have. So he's six segments. So is he going to be just up to an 85 or an 86 then? Probably up to an 86. Rare bronze, rare silver, 
80 with a Danish player and a team of the week. 84 with a Man United and a team of the week. 85 with a Man City. Um, and an 85 with a Premier League player. So he's two 85s. So three, basically, three segments you'll have to work for the 84 the 85 and the 85 shows just how even though he's a 93 he's higher than the other two players how lower goalkeepers are rated by EA and their importance within the game Costa and Balak Balak obviously being the most expensive one there but yeah there's three new icons we've got we'll do the lone ones there we go um Lone Balak is going to cost you a German and an 82 rated squad. Did we already get given a Balak? Or did we get a Balak from something? I'm sure I've got one. Ah, we've got the 86. 86 Balak happened somewhere along the line. I think it was a team event, maybe. Uh, the real cost is going to be an 81, I reckon. Oh no, they've done instructed it differently. So, yeah, one Portuguese, 11 rare, 2 gold. So you can do 2 rare gold, 9 rare silver. Smash that, that's easy. And Schmeichel's probably going to be similar, if not lower. One Danish, 10 rare, 6 gold. So 6 rare gold. Four rare silverish and another silver maybe include a Danish player. That's gonna be easy. I'd advise everybody to do these loans because it's good to have them on board now. What do we do? We have anything more than the icon? We have Armstrong who's got four days left. Gundogan who's got 16 hours left. The two upgrades. Um, we've got Kevin Malquit. Got an 83 double upgrade which I'll do to store for later on marquee matchups okay there we go so the main content today is uh the new icons dropped balak costa schmeichel i might do the costa i don't think i'll i don't think i'll pay for the balak but um, it's kind of tempting anyway let me know which ones you think you might do and i will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's video bye